This is a short video on how to erase a plain white background in Affinity Photo for cutting out silhouettes or shapes. And it needs to be on a plain white background this one. I haven't done for any other backgrounds. Now there's a short video on the right. Just watch that. And it steps you through. For th it's only a 30 second video. And the steps are on the left hand side there. And you'll see it work through. And then it carries on to the rest of the video, a step-by-step -step walkthrough of what you need to do. There we go, back to the saved image. Now, the first thing you do is locate your image. And you can see here, I've got two images actually. There's one's an EPS and the other is a JPEG. The one on the left is an EPS. You can open that one too, uh, but it's it comes up, uh, it's probably better in designer, that one. Now, select your image. That's the one, when you go into photo, that's the one you're looking for, so you know what you've got. And there it is, loaded, you've selected it and loaded it into Affinity Photo. You can see it on the right there in its own layer. Now select the commands, the three dots up on the left hand side there, and select duplicate. You want to make a duplicate. You duplicate the layer. There's the layer duplicated, and the original one is locked. Now Photos does that by default. That's just what you want. Now the next thing, very simple, you hide the original layer so that you're only dealing with the duplicate layer. Hide the first layer. And then you select the Filter Studio, that's the little white funnel you can see on the right. And then select Erase White Background. And that's right, I've scrolled up there and you can see that next to the funnel. In the previous video, you'll have seen me scrolling up. The background clears to transparent. You can see the little crosshatch pattern there, that's your transparent background. Now, select the commands again, the little dots, and save your work. Or save a copy and give it any name you like, really, um, depending on what the image is that you're saving, I presume, and where you want to save it. And there you go, back to the um, front page of Affinity Photo, and you can see the images on the left-hand side there, and I've selected the little sandwich stack there and renamed it there. Uh, bodybuilder silhouette. So I've got it not only saved and exported, but I've also renamed the working copy so I can come back to it if I want to. And you can see a few other samples that I've got there.